Hey, this is Greg up Church, UT, TSU Extension in Cumberland County, talking to you some more about home fruit tree spray schedules. Uh, we visited a little bit earlier about the uh, spraying the peaches. Well, here we're standing with an apple tree, and this apple tree has already been sprayed with a dormant oil to control those scale insects, a copper fungicide to control some of those bacteria and potentially fun uh, fungal type problems that we might have. But as we see on the leaves, we're already starting to see some growth. We've got those half inch uh, green leaves and tight clusters. And so we need to be looking at the second phase of spraying this apple tree. Uh, if you've got one uh, using varieties that are a suspect to apple scab, we need to be thinking about getting that fungicide. In this case, for a home orchard, that's likely going to be cap 10. As we move through the season, there'll be other sprays that we'll put on those. Even during the bloom period where we might have issues with fire blight that we might have to use a bactericide like streptomycin to control that. Now, as always, think about your pollinators. Read the label, follow the label. Whatever it says on the label, labels the law, and it'll tell you the best application methods for those. Protect those pollinators. Even our organic sprays can be a problem for pollinators if they're misapplied. So, read and follow the labels on those. Now again, we're just getting started and there will be spray schedules throughout the season uh, for this apple tree. Again, check out our disease control at Home Fruit, fruit Orchards uh, on UT Extension Publications. And if you happen to be a commercial grower that might catch this on Facebook or something, there are uh, extension publications out there for commercial orchards, commercial vineyards. Now, home versus commercial, there's going to be a whole different array of fungicides, insecticides uh, that we'd use that really aren't going to be recommended per se for the home orchard. So, if you got questions, contact your local extension office and we can further direct you for information regarding your home orchard.